call this meeting of Ohio County Fiscal Court to order on this 27th day of February 2014 at 5 p.m. I'm going to ask a, a county attorney, Justin Cowan, to lead us in a prayer and a, and a pledge. If we could bow our heads, uh, Lord, thank we. We thank you for you know all the blessings that we've received, whether they're all realized or not. We know that you are there and you've provided for us. And we also pray for the safety of any of those that may be affected by the possible storms this evening. We've received word that we may have some, and, and we pray for all those um, as this county has certainly dealt with issues in that regard. And, and Lord, we pray for this court. We pray for this court and the magistrates and their wisdom and, and to do all that is good in the county. And, and family, uh, Lord, we, we thank you for all the uh, uh, the grace that you have and your uh, never-ending love. Um, and it's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to, to, to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Justice. Uh, before you have the minutes of the January 23rd meeting, um, we need a motion and second to approve. So moved. Motion by Larry Morphew. Second. Second by uh, Michael McKinney. Nope. Bo Bennett. Bo Bennett, I'm sorry. Uh, is there any questions, corrections, or additions? Our discussion corrections or additions. Any discussion, corrections, or additions to be made? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion passed. Uh, you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers. Is there a late list in there? No. No late list. Okay. Just bills, claims, payments, and transfers. Need a motion to approve. So move with a question. Motion, Larry. I'll second. Second by Jason Bullock. And what's this KCO Cyber Security Grant? What was that used for? That's a grant that Miranda got, and we will apply and get that money back. And if you want to explain that, Miranda. Uh, yeah, he pretty much put a tracking software on our main server, so anyone that connects to it, it pretty much tells us how many unsafe open doors there are, so we can lock it down if we need to, and so it is, I believe, a 20%. Uh -huh. That was, yeah, so they will, they'll reimburse us 80% of that. And they will keep the log. So it will stay up to date, and any time anything comes open, or if we have Microsoft that needs to be updated, it will ping them, and then they'll come and work on it. But it's an in and out account. That ninety two hundred to refer the unit. Do they do that every year? So gas it or is where, where are you looking at? On the uh, is that the new unit? The transfers. Oh. down to bottom. <coughs> uh, no, that is, they took it out of reserves. They had to get a new unit. A, a new, the whole HVAC system. So they had to get money into the account out of reserves in order to pay the bill. Was the unit 27 or 92? 92. What's the 27? The 207. That was the... Uh, for the first responders, that's to zero out that account. Oh, okay. I was looking at the total, I'm sorry. Yeah. Any other discussion? Being none, all folks say aye. Aye. Post like sign. Post carry. Uh, MA Director Charlie Shields and his guests. Uh, I got a few things, but the first thing is the mutual aid agreement is from area one and area two. Uh, Mr. Harsey, he's my regional manager uh, for Kentucky Emergency Management. We cover, he covers 24 counties and what this is, uh, it's agreement, mutual aid agreement that we cover. It helps us if we have to go to another counties and for 
reimbursement for FEMA and it helps us go to other counties. Um, out of the 24, 12 of the counties has already signed it out of the fiscal court meetings. So, out of how many counties? Out of 24 counties, 12 of them has already signed. And the reason the other 12 has not signed is because they have not had their physical court meetings yet. Yep. So we would like that court to sign the motion this. to approve it and second, then we can just ask more questions. I'll make a motion. And I, motion. I, and I have reviewed it. Yes, no justice. Jason, did you have a Yes. Yeah. 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 They're here, second? Second. Second by Larry Morphy. So, any discussion? Our question for Charlie. Don't make it too easy on them. Oh, that, that's the easiest one. <coughs> No so this is basically saying that you can go to eight other counties. That make, basically, 23 other counties I could go to to help out. And they, and they, can, come and they can come here to help out. And there's no money involved. It's yeah. just basically we're sending. Correct. And if we as FEMA, we could help us get reimbursement. A whole lot easier to track and help us on the FEMA side. Is that just taking car departments to it for needed? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it'll help us on that side, too. Instead of before you had to do all the extra paperwork, this helps us on that side too. Where we never had it before, where we sent people in Eastern Kentucky, they had to do their own stuff like where Rosine done theirs, this will help us out on that. Like if the tornado was hit, we could go to neighboring counties like they, yeah, did, but like they did us. Yeah. Hopefully not. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'll say aye. Aye. Post like sign. Sort of like a mutual agreement between the new partners working with each other, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, sorry. <coughs> uh, okay. Now, here's the other part. We have we uh, got a hazard mitigation grant for years, uh, about two years ago, I guess, for two new weather sirens. They have finally got in. One's at the Ohio County Park. One is at the Bluegrass Crossing. And Mr. Morphew has asked me a couple times about weather sirens in the Rosine area. I've held off and I've done it, so I'll take blame on it. But the reason is, and Bo, Mr. Ben has got one in my Kennery needs to be fixed. And the reason I've waited is because this guy is, come, is gonna be coming in. And we didn't wanna pay $6,000 both times to have him come in. So here's the contract to have him come in to repair all of these sirens when he comes in to fix these other two. We have 13 for him to come in, not counting the two that's included in the grant. Uh, Centertown got one with the new mayor down there. He took it and gratefully he done. I think, thank him a lot for doing that. He got his fixed. And uh, so I took a little load off of ourselves. So this is a contract for Federal signal come in and they'll go around and fix them and they will hit all the sirens when they come in here in about three weeks to fix them. They don't charge other than for parking. Well, that's the kicker. Yes, they do. And I've talked to Miss Ann Melton about it and in this fund, I like for the court, we only have $10,000 in this fund where this will come out of and at that $10,000, if it goes over that, I don't know, and we don't know, am I correct to saying that, where the money would come from. Uh, in the past, it's been below the 10000 So I, I'm hoping it'd be below that, like the Mike Henry siren. It could be as simple as a $10 part. It could be something as a $1,000 part. I don't know till this guy gets here. We don't know. Is That's, there anybody else you can get a bid from? Or? No, sir. They're the, kind of like a one-stop shop. And uh, tell where the money is you're going to pay for it with. I'll look. It's the Far Acres Fund that we receive. Each year it builds up a little bit. It's been about five years since we've oh, what, I knew that. I was going to Far Acres Fund, day. that's taxes that are collected. So, we a few years that way. For them to come down to do this is five thousand eight hundred fifty dollars to do all of it, and they do fix up to a certain dollar amount. It's listed in the contract what they do do, and they're the ones who we get, and it's the ones who all the other counties get too. 
to come down and do that. And they bring their own bucket trucks, they come down and, and they test them and make sure they all go well. Oh, yeah. Ohio. So I would like to ask the court's permission to sign this and get them come down to take uh, care of the way. We don't have a choice, do we? Do I hear a motion to we don't. Uh, authorize uh, Charlie to sign the uh, papers on the contract? So moved. Motion by Claymore. And that, all that money's in that account that it'll cover off. Yeah. Second. Second. Was that my or? Yeah. Yeah. Second by mine. Any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. Motion carries. And I got some good news. This is final. April the 18th, 19th, and 20th, we do have tire amnesty coming up. So everybody in y'all's district, anybody's got some old tires, I don't care if they're on rims, what they are, we're going to have it out at the Ohio County Park, out there on our lot. Tell them bring them out there, I'll take them. So what are those dates again? 18th, 19th, and 20th. Of when? April. April. And I'll be putting it out on the paper, Facebook. I'll get Mr. Wright on the radio, we'll go on there, so we'll put it out. I'll be back another court meeting to tell y'all put flyers out. So if y'all hear anything, tell them we'll take everything they got. Be sure to get me a flyer on it so I can carry it with me. Yes, sir. I'll make sure I'll get all y'all some flyers on that. And I thank y'all. You'll have somebody to unload them, won't you? Yes, sir. We'll have, well, if Mr. depends on how many inmates we have, if not, me and Jason right here, Nick is obligated the road department to help out, and <laughs> the judge has said he'll be more glad to pay overtime, and we'll make sure we help out the judge. So we will take care of it, won't we, Jason? Yes, sir. There you go. So we will take care of it. Yeah. I'll be right Thanks there. Thanks for you. volunteering for that, Jason. Appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you. Right. I may be turkey hunting in Nebraska that week. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, we finally have the MOI in. We've been talking about a committee reported to us several months ago for the HVAC in the building, but need to authorize me to sign the MOA for to get this all done and set up with the uh, with the uh, uh, the court system to uh, to proceed on the contract. We, there will be the BA opening at the next meeting. So this is just for this. this, this so we can get half of the money. From half the, the money is all this is for. Okay. Half the so money from the court system. Okay. So I, motion. I'll make a motion. motion. Yeah. Jason. I'll second. Bo's motion. Bo made the motion and Jason second. Okay. I don't know. If, I don't think this has to have a motion, but I would like to check with the bank just as an option in case we do have to finance our part. Just so I'll have that information for you all at the next meeting. Sounds I don't, good. Justin, I don't think that has to be in the No, you can do it. Okay. <coughs> uh, did, did I get a vote on that? Hey. No, we had a vote. We got a first. Hey, and Charlie. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Both mm -hmm. like turn. I'll sign. Do you not need a motion? No. All right, Gunner, I need you volunteer me again. We actually borrowed <laughs> Uh, I do. I would like a short closed session with you guys uh, under uh, KRS 61-810, Chapter 1, Section C. Make a motion to close session. Motion by Larry Morphew. Second. 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 We'll be right back. Motion to go back to the uh, open session. <laughs> motion by Larry Murphy go back to the open session. Second by Bill Bailey. Overruled by Justin. Yeah. All, all in favor say aye. Aye. We're back. I will tell you we did not conduct, uh, make any motions or anything during there. Only discuss one topic. And from that, uh, Jason, you want to make a motion? I will make the motion on this that uh, we do send a proposal to the water board over the uh, Chiggerville uh, water project 
let them review it and to get back with us that they approve of the proposal. And that is to go ahead and put the dollar on your motion. What? what? No. Dollar amount? $13,000 annually for maintenance. for maintenance of water lines throughout the county that need to be replaced. Coming from the, uh, but I need to put that in there, the uh, water, yeah, water landfill line fund. Hmm. I'll second. Okay. Motion to Jason, second to Bob. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Can I see that? Hope like sign. I said aye too. So, yeah, they yeah, can see it. Yeah. It's scribbling, this is every other word. That makes sense to me. Uh, the, we have one personnel issue. You have two. 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 Yeah. That's a pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Where are we at now? I'm sorry. Personnel. 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 Uh, okay, uh, Miranda will show that to you, Jason, before she publishes it. Okay? Okay, thank you. And um, we have two personnel items. First, I put up for the golf course pro shop, Emily Golf, seasonal, at a... At the uh, at the rate that they pay the pro shop work, Emily Goff. Mm -hmm. It's not a green uh, form. It shouldn't be on a green form. Rip was, uh, there should have been a white form that Rip should have filled out. That's it. He may not have. I'll get with you tomorrow on the okay. on the amount and. Put it in okay. there. It's not there. Okay, roll call. Bennett? Yes. Callaway? Uh, Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Clock? Yes. <coughs> and the other one's the same position. It's uh, also seasonal. Kara Callaway. Pro shop. Uh, so uh, go ahead and. Uh, Bennett? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Yes. Bullock? Yes. Okay, then, uh, Jason, you want to go ahead and. Uh, I have a couple of committee reports, yeah. On the Green Mower. Yeah, I've got one for the road department, one for the golf course committee. Uh, I'll just go ahead and get the golf course committee out of the way. I talked to um, Bo and Steve, and uh, we found a green tomorrow for $22,900 uh, from John Deere. Uh, it's Beard Equipment. They also are the ones that uh, do the uh, UK's uh, equipment and uh, they, the Board of Education's mower that they had out here. So they, we talked to the people that work with this group and they, they liked them, but I think originally the $35,000 is what we had. Uh, or quote last time. This one is, I think, a 2019, maybe. It's three or four years old. Do you know it was a 20 or something? I think it was a 20. Might be a 20. And it, they just take them. It's like a lease program. And then they come bring them in, rework them, and then and send them out. They had two at this time. Uh, one has already been spoken for. So I'd like to make a motion to the court that we um, purchase the greens mower through Beard Equipment. For $22,900. Now, there is an option. We can pay for it all at one time, or we can pay to it over a 40, a four month, four year annual payment of $6,516. No. Is that interest free? Uh, that is not interest free there, that if you do it over a four year period. So, that, and they did have a plan that if they had to, they had some old carts they could sell to make the first payment if they needed. Do they not have it in their budget to purchase it? Not this one, no. No. 
So I'm going to go ahead and make that an appointment motion that we purchase the. Do you the, you want to uh, specify the payment plan? Whether we do you what I mean I'm, I'm I'm proposing that as far as which ones do you think, which one's easiest for? I mean, Ann, you're the treasurer, and we wouldn't have to make our first payment to July and after July one anyway. Uh, that would be a question for Bo if he wants to take that six thousand five hundred dollar payment out of his operating budget. Well, he doesn't. We will have to find it in the eight reserve. I think it, that is an extra three thousand dollars. The interest is on. Um, I just hate it because this one, like I said, it's about twelve thousand dollars less than what we were looking at the last time, and I don't think it was even this new. So. I wouldn't be for borrowing some money and you don't know how much interest is. Well, if you look, it's 3,000. 6.65, 16 times 4. Yeah, it was 26, but not low. So you're looking at, at $3,164. Yes, that's right. If we do it. And they did say we could set it up on payments? And then if we decide to, after the first payment, we want to pay all three payments at one time, we could, but it would still be the 65-116 uh, each, for each of those three payments. So what do, you, what do you, David, what do you think? I think to make the payments would be better. That way we don't have to come up with as much for the golf course each year. I think we'd probably justify in the new budget putting that much in it each year. Where we wouldn't be able to come up with it all now. Would we take some of that out of our next budget? Well, either now it all comes out of the budget, but we're going to have to increase the budget. But I think it'll be all there in revenue yeah. recovery. Just, just judging from uh, 22 to 23 revenue of the golf course, I think it's justified entirely. You second the motion? I'll second. We, we made enough to buy the green, and we, like I said, we we're actually in the green for, so we'd like to keep it going. Okay. Is it, yeah. All right. Got it. Go ahead. Uh, do we want to, so you want to do the four-year payment? Then? Yes. Yes. Okay. That's the motion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed okay. like sign. Motion carried. Uh, I have road department. Okay. Go ahead and do the road department. And basically, I'm just going to pass these out to you. There's several things on here. That we're looking to propose at the next court meeting. Here, just pass them down that way. I got one. Um, and there's there's a few pages here. There's eight things on here. Uh, without reading, I mean, can we make this public? Or how do we? Is somebody want to pick something up? Or if Dustin wanted to give him a copy, so how do we need to well the first one here is the road department the other is the other thing I think you're just, you said you were going to pass it out for them to review and yeah let's just pass it out for review okay. there's eight things on here we will look at uh passing or making a motion at the next okay. uh court meeting but i will say the uh committee has been diligent in discussing it they met yesterday and then again today with uh, more people joining them but it's uh, put a lot of work into it, so we'll look it over and have it back. Can you mail this to Kenneth? So he'll have it too. We'll look at it next time. Good deal. You have any more committees? Um, I don't know what this Okay. I'm going to appoint a new committee, then I'll ask for the other report. And then, we, then we'll do the master's poll. But, uh, I'm going to appoint a new committee, uh, I'm calling it the House Shortage Task Force. The charges to this committee is to research and find developer sites and resources, including grant money, and low interest loans, etc. And to this committee, I'm appointing Mayor Jeff Fuquay, Mayor Mike Aldridge, uh, Councilman Stacia Cole, Commissioner Sandy Robinson, Christina Carpenter with the county, and Kirk Ball is a citizen's representative. Uh, 
I met him today, and he's just real interested in doing community type things. And so I, he's going to be on this committee and accepted that. So just write that down a minute. Yeah. And get this to Christina so she can set up a meeting. Pretty excited about it. Are there other committee reports? Anybody got any committee reports? If not, if you don't mind going out of order just a little bit before we get to the polling of the magistrates. Well, Andy Quisenberry is here. He will speak to y'all just a bit. Or he may come up. Yeah, to that mic there. Yes, I've got a couple of things. Um, I'm Andy Quisenberry. I work for CSA. I work for Rubber. And I think most of all y'all know who I am here. Um, right now, I've taken over. Um, I was uh, assistant state legislator rep for. I'm in the Brotherhood Maintenance Way Department. I'm on a structure part of the track. Um, we've got a couple bills up in the House and Senate. One is the same one as House Bill 33 and Senate Bill 47. And the touch shortly on that is coming through, we have PL comes through Ohio County. I work for CSX out of Bowling Green. I can work out of Owensboro. We've got lines pretty close, Madisonville, different areas. The reason these, this bill is, is what it is, is a two-man train crew. And two-man train crew, you have to have them in the yards, which when they're switching, that's, that's not the part of this bill. The bill is, is going from like Louisville to Nashville, Nashville to Evansville, Nashville to Birmingham. It's a long draw out. What they want to do is take these computer-generated trains and try to set it up to where, and right now they're, they are running computer generated. Basically, you've got an engineering conductor setting up there. The engineer has to make sure the train is running properly. The conductor, if something breaks, he has to walk back. It used to be six or 8,000 feet. Now it's anywhere up to 14, 16,000 feet back. You take, for instance, in the city of Bowling Green, you can shut down the whole city of Bowling Green in no time. What this does is having two man, two man train crews is that engineer cannot get off that train. A lot of people don't realize that. Even just say for out here in, in city of Beaverdam, if a train goes in emergency, they have to walk that train, that engineer stays on that train. He cannot come off. If it comes down to a one man train crew, you have one person in Louisville, one in Paducah. If something happened to that train, they would have to drive out to be there to help do whatever. So say, the simplest way I could put it, does everybody know, heard of East Palestine, what happened in East Palestine about last year? <clears throat> Two main train crews not going to stop a train from derailing. What's going to stop a train from derailing? I can go on, on another story. But a two-man train crew can take this is not the manifest what was on it, but you can take it 8, 10, 12, whatever, how many pages of manifest they have. East Palestine, they had 13 cars that derailed with dangerous, dangerous chemicals. They evacuated a mile square or circle around there, and they should have probably evacuated five miles. We almost had one in the state of Kentucky this year, right around Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving weekend. It was 13 cars from having up in the eastern part of the state around Rock, Rock Haven, Kentucky. They had about 15 or 16. They had molten sulfur, which is still hazard material. Only I'm asking if you guys, if you guys and ladies here can. Um, Scott Lewis has helped us out. I was up at, in uh, Frankfurt a couple weeks ago. He has joined the bill, House Bill 33. But if you can, if anybody, I've, I would give you a copy of this Bill 47, but if you start reading it, nothing against you, Justin, but this right here is lawyer terms. <laughs> I can't, somebody like me, a common person, can't understand this, and I'm sorry not to mean nothing mean against that, but I understand. But Stephen Meredith is one we need to get a hold of. If anybody knows anybody in the counties of Brett County, Butler County, Grayson County, Meade County, especially in y'all's positions or anybody, like Adam or Donnie back here, anybody that's in position that they're going to listen to you guys before they would us because 
it's electioneer. I hate to say try to use electioneer, but we don't need an East Palestine. It could happen right here in Beaverdown. I don't live very far from it. It could it, you could be back away from Hartford as well. And I mean, you look on there, what chemicals on there? It's pretty serious. And one other thing, I I know I said I'm going to talk about this bill. There is a autonomous bill. Um, and it is House Bill 47. So if anybody has a question, David Johnson or Adam or Donnie has my number. Y'all can get a hold of me. But if y'all would mind call and just let them know 47, you're for two man train crews. Is it Senate Bill 47 or House Bill 47? Ha Senate Bill 47. Yeah, House Bill 33. House Bill 33. Yeah. House Bill 33, you don't have to worry about now, Scott Lewis. I mean, Scott's got our back on anything like that. Just Senate Bill 47. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and. Um, we had an older gentleman back in there that didn't pass away. I, I we wouldn't have I wouldn't have this conversation because he would he would he would back the safety of our communities, and that's what it is. It's not about and the, the train corporation is going to save money, money, money. But there is one other thing: autonomous driving. I'm just going to give you a heads up. It's coming. This I was up there as well. Autonomous driving. A lot of y'all don't. I don't know if y'all know what autonomous driving is. Take about three, four, five semis and connect them together. Three, four, five, six of your UPS and FedEx trucks, you put them together. It's already passed the House. It's getting ready to go through the Senate. I don't have the bill because I didn't see it, but you can let the Senator know do not vote for autonomous driving if you don't mind because that's computer generated. You're going to have somebody driving it from Ukraine or China or Russia is going to be in a computer driving it. And it's already going on in five states. And they're their recommendation is three people to die per year for that is acceptable in our state of Kentucky. Yeah, the the Teamsters Union was at the Capitol last week going over there. Yeah, they're 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 protesting at big time the Teamsters are. I'm part of Teamsters as well. I, I'm a member of three different unions, um, LI Federation, the BMWD, and the Teamsters. That's how the railroads made up. The Teamsters is fighting it, but. Um, that's something we need to, we got our communities here, we need to be looking for. Our cell phones don't work half the time in a lot of these rural country places. I don't see how cell phones going to help drive a semi truck down the road either. But our senators will listen to this. <coughs> but about what I'm getting at is I, I need y'all's help as community. And I mean, I'm asking, because this is not only for me, it's not only for us, it's for everybody in our community. Because especially on this chemical, East Palestine, there's people still not back in their houses. Yeah. So. But we would definitely work on that. All right. If anybody has any questions in any other counties that somebody knows that somebody have a meeting like this, let me know because I'd like to go start going with some of these. Okay. Thank, Thank you all very much. Sir. Thanks, Andy. Thank you. And then we have to poll, let's poll the magistrate to start with, uh, with Michael McKinney, District 1. No new business for the 1st District. Uh, Jason Bullock, District 2. The only thing is if we could have, you know, and I don't know, maybe she her bit, but you might check with Joanna Shake and just see if she could come to the next meeting. And then you know, we can have questions for her. Sure, she, she, I'm sure she will. If she can't, she'll send her number one assistant. All right, thank you. And uh, no new uh, business in the third district. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Justin? No, thank you, Judge. Does anyone else have anything for the good of the court? Anybody else have anything? Are they expecting to take use in the community center and courthouse tonight if they have uh, bad weather? Uh, yes, Adam has been gracious enough. He's opened the basement courthouse back up and the basement of this building, too. So they both, they're both uh, available. If anybody hears this, it needs a shelter. And the entrance here will be in the back? Yes. The entrance to the community center will be in the back. Adam! Hang on. <laughs> I want to talk to you. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and adjourn the meeting. <laughs> All right. No more business for the body of this meeting. Adjourn. Hey, my friends, guys. Thank you. Put your two forms on my desk.